my darlings. Today I'm going to be showing you five different hairstyles that you can do on your straight hair. You don't need to curl it beforehand, so it is perfect for those lazy days or when you don't have time to curl your hair the night before. So these hairstyles are very easy and you should be able to follow along, no problem at all, and they take around five minutes or less to do. So let's get into it. <laughs> For the first look, I'm going to separate my fringe from the rest of my hair and tie it out of the way, as we will get to that later. The fringe is separated further into three sections and these will be rolled up into small pin curls and pinned flat against the top of the head. Making sure to slide the pin through the section of hair and not directly on top as you don't want to see the pin. And now, just repeat the other two sections. For the back, I simply just twist my hair around and pin in place with a lot of bobby pins. Once the bun is secure, I like to wear a hairnet over the bun to keep everything in place and looking neat, and securing the hairnet in place with one or two pins. And you can always check the back of your hair with a handheld mirror to make sure it all looks perfect. I like to finish off this simple hairstyle with a headscarf. And there you have it, an easy vintage inspired hairstyle with no curling needed. second hairstyle, I'm wearing the same bun as before but I'm changing my fringe and I'm going to show you a couple of variations with the fringe that you can play around with. For the first fringe style, it is simply pinned flat against the head and the ends tucked away into the bun. You can leave this hairstyle as is or you can jazz it up as I like to. You could add a bow to the bun for a simple yet cute look. Or you can wear a beret. I like to wear my beret so they are more on one side of my head, preferably the opposite side to my fringe, because this helps to balance out the hairstyle. for the second fringe style. Tease underneath for volume and then smooth over the top with a brush to make sure it doesn't look like a rat's nest and swoop the fringe back and pin in place. Finishing it off with a bright coloured headscarf tied at the side. hairstyle is perfect for days when your hair is greasy. This is my go-to hairstyle for those greasy days or just when I haven't had time to set my hair. All you need to do is pull your hair back into a ponytail, grab a bunch of bobby pins and twist your hair up and just start pinning your ponytail flat against the back of your head. Nobody is going to see this under your turban so don't worry that it looks messy.
And now just wrap your headscarf over the back of your head and pull up to tie at the top. My scarf is a rectangular shape so I have less bulk than a triangular scarf to tie and hide away. But you can easily just tuck away excess scarf material into the top of your turban. And there you have it, a simple yet glamorous look. You can also add a pin curl at the front for a bit of a different look. For the fourth hairstyle, section off both sides from the front right behind the ear. Pull the rest of the hair up and brush it into a very high ponytail. With the side sections, comb, twist back gently and pin in place next to the ponytail. Do the same on the other side, making sure that the hair isn't pulled back too tightly. Wind small sections from the ponytail into large stand-up pin curls around the hair tie. Alternating the direction and placement of curls makes it appear more voluminous. I like to gently fluff out the side sections a little bit, so the hair at the side of my head is balanced with the bun on top of my head. Once all the hair is pinned into barrel curls, I like to put a hairnet over my bun to make sure it stays nice and neat all day. And like before, using one or two bobby pins to secure it in place. And there we are, a very pretty updo in no time at all. Also spice up this hairstyle with a bow or with hair flowers. or even a corsage on your blouse or dress, which is technically not in your hair, but I feel like it can really make an outfit combined with a simple hairdo. For the fifth and final hairstyle, you will need to separate your hair into two to form these milkmaid braids. If you have long hair, you can actually make this hairstyle without a part down the back. At this point, my hair was reminding me of 13 year old Sage who thought the too loose ponytail look was so cool. <laughs> then dividing the section into three and plaiting it together while holding the hair directly away from the head. and you should definitely look like Pippi Longstockings at this point. I like to fluff out the plait to give it a bit more body while holding the ends tight. If you have clear elastics, you can tie up the plaits, but since I don't have any on me, I'm making do. Once the braid is nice and full, you can lie it on the top of your head and pin in place. 
Now I'm moving on to the other side and using the exact same method. Because I have a long fringe, you can see it poking out. So once everything is pinned in place, you can then adjust and pin the flyaways down later. Just remember to hide those ends and also try and hide the bobby pins too. And there we have it, another lovely simple hairstyle. If the hairstyle is lacking a little something, add a colourful beret. Oops. Oh! <laughs> Oops. There we go, that was five different hairstyles you can do on straight hair without needing to curl it at all. Um, there are a couple of variations where you can put a foam roller in the front of your hair or a pin curl and leave that overnight if you, you know, don't have enough time to do your whole head. And that works really well as well. Just having a bun at the back and having your fringe curled, that can look really nice. I hope you enjoyed all of this. They're, for the most part, really, really simple and something as easy as accessorizing adding flower clips or a beret can really pull your whole look together if you do have a more simple hairstyle. Make sure to let me know if you try out one of these hairstyles. You can tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comments down here on YouTube. So yeah, thank you so much for coming along and following these hairstyles with me and I'll see you next week. Bye!